guys and welcome back to Bookhaven with me Kim. Today I'll be doing a haul video for the month of March so stick around. Alright so this month was a great month. I unhauled a bunch of books and I got credit at a used bookstore and went wild. Also I received some books from my Valentine's bookish cupid who I still don't really know who it is and a couple books from authors so let's get into it here we go first off I have the Queen of Tearling by Erica Johnson now this is a book that I have heard of I've heard I think I have a few booktuber connections I've heard great things that they like this book but it had never really made it on my radar but I got this letter it says dear Kim after discovering you love fantasy I got you my fave Queen of Tearling I hope you enjoy so much love your bookish cupid Angelica. So Angelica, thank you so much. I'd love to know who you are because I love all things fantasy related. I'm really looking forward to reading this. So that is The Queen of Tearling by Erica Johnson. Then I've got Bright Storm, A Skyship Adventure by Vashti Hardy. This is an author I've never read before and I saw this. I saw the cover. I figured it's quite steampunky. It's a skyship adventure which I absolutely love all things to do with skyships and any kind of steam punk vibes. I think this is about maybe a brother and sister whose father who is a daring explorer has gone missing and some sort of mystery builds and the probably I assume the kids go to look for him but this cover guys it's just gorgeous and I'm really excited to dive into this and discover this author Vashti Hardy. So that's Brightstorm. Then I've got a recommendation from another booktuber um, it was Reese with Cassara. She had recommended to me Gregor the Overlander series by Suzanne Collins. I believe this has to do with sort of like an, a magical underworld underneath New York City. I love New York City. I'm really excited to be going to BookCon this June so I'm hoping to read this before then and I really like the books that Kisara tends to recommend. So this is Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. Then I've got Skybreaker by Kenneth Oppel. This is the second book in the Airborne Trilogy. I think it's a trilogy? Don't quote me on that. Um, so bringing back Matt Cruz and I believe there's a gypsy and friends, people we've met before. I just, I love the first book, Airborne. I mentioned it back in my wrap up and I'm really excited to continue the series and get into Skybreaker. And finally, I have Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is a book that I've heard so many people either love it or hate it. And I really, really, really wanted to read this. I think it's about a female assassin and there's a female, female relationship or romance in this. But I got this from a used online bookstore. It says signed first edition copy. Check that out. Woohoo! So that was pretty cool to get for only a couple dollars. And I've been putting this off for quite a while because uh, the books at my bookstore, I think they only had the paper get paperback version and the font was just so bloody small. I just didn't want to get into it, but it looks quite normal in the hardcover. So I'm finally going to be able to read Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Then I've got The Last Magician, which is by Lisa Maxwell. I haven't really heard much about it. This came to me as a recommendation at the used bookstore. It takes place in New York. I know there's a thief and magic and magicians, and that's about all I need to know to get into a book. So very curious to see what this is all about. I really love the front of the book here with the snakes. It's very beautiful and magical and already has my attention. So that is The Last Magician. And now a very well-loved book on booktube is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This book has had so much hype surrounding it, which is why I think is one of the reasons I've put it off until now. But it was time. It was time to pick it up. I know this author is coming out with a new book. I don't know if it's the spring or the summer but it's sometime this year and people are so excited here on booktube so I figure it's time to dive into this into the circus world I believe that is it the circus is its own like entity I'm not sure but it's supposed to be very unique and I'm looking forward to seeing if it lives up to the hype and last in terms of fantasy books that I have for my haul I've got Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James this is the name I should know by now. He, I was so excited. Um, Mr. James is coming to Montreal to do a talk and a signing 
and I was supposed to go, but unfortunately I'm going to miss it, but I'm still very interested to read the book. Um, there's been very polar opinions about this. A lot of hype to it coming out, and it's been compared to a fever dream in terms of how it reads. Uh, so I'm very interested to see where I fall on the spectrum of love it or hate it or somewhere in between. But either way, I'm going to give it a go sometime in the next few months. That's Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. Okay, so we're done with the fantasy selections. I've got one memoir, which I am super, super excited about. This is I Bificus, written by Biff Naked. Now, this might be showing my age with this one. This is a musician that was very, very famous in the 90s, at least in Canada. I'm assuming everyone knows who she is. I just, I, I hope and expect. If you don't know who Biff Naked is, please go take a Google. She had some very popular songs, which, Still, I think a lot of people know she's got Spaceman, which is kind of a sort of techno dance number, I think, and I Love Myself Today, which is rock, a bit of grunge. Anyways, this woman wrote her memoir, and I saw her in concert a couple years ago and heard about it. I feel kind of bad that I didn't have it then to get it signed, but it's just fascinating. She was born in India between British and Canadian parents and then put up for adoption moved to North America and had a very, very difficult life. Um, just getting involved with drugs and a lot of, had to face a lot of bullying and then getting into the entertainment industry. And later on in her life, Biff Naked was diagnosed with breast cancer and has been an advocate ever since. So even though this is a pretty short little novel here, um, I'm sure that there's gonna be quite a punch packed to it and it will be a very quick read. So that is I Bificus by Biff Naked. Then I have Wild Blue Wonder by Carly Sorosiek. I don't, I'm probably saying that wrong. It's by Carly Viss here. You can take a look. True. Beautiful cover. This is a magic realism story about a girl named Quinn. Her family owns a a summer camp or a day camp of some sort and there's always just been sort of magical things happening and one day Quinn's best friend that she's been falling in love with something happens I don't know what but something tragic and then the magic just seems sort of gone from life and I've heard very good things about it I've it's been on my um, radar since last summer and I'm really looking forward to reading this probably come summertime so wild blue wonder then I've got this book called The Seven Sisters, and it's part of a series by Lucinda Riley. I don't know a whole lot about it. It was a recommendation from another booktuber and from someone at my local bookstore, and I got it at a bargain deal, so going into it kind of blind. I do know that it takes place in different places around the world and that there is some focus of a romance, but that it's not technically a romance novel, so I'm willing to give it a go. It looks like this one takes place in Brazil or Rio de Janeiro, as I can see the, the Statue of Christ there. And as some of you might know, I've mentioned before that I really love to read about different places around the world and gather inspiration for my travel through the things I read. And I spent a year living in Brazil, so if this story brings me back there at all, I will be extremely happy. And I've got Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, which is a Canadian author, and I love to support Canadian authors, and this book has been on my radar for quite a while. It's a dystopian, and I love dystopian. Um, don't read enough of it. And I believe it has to do with sort of a mix and match kind of crew that travel around the Great Lakes, which is an area I'm very familiar with and sort of reenact Shakespeare or art pieces to the survivors of what's left of the world. So very curious to find out what happened and a little bit more about these unique characters in the book. That is Station Eleven. Then we have The Book of M by Peng Shepherd. Uh, this is also a dystopian novel. I believe uh, it has something to do with losing your shadow. When you start to lose your shadow, you start losing your memories and being able to function. I just read the first chapter of this and I really like the writing. 
So I'm curious to jump into this. This is another used bookstore, uh, one I found in Northern Ontario that well, visiting family and I just, I absolutely loved it. I love when you can go into a used bookstore and talk to the person who's working there, which happened to be the owner of this place. I'll leave a link in the description down below in case there's any Canadians watching in sort of central Northern Ontario. She recommended this to me and I've seen it in shelves in some of the bigger box bookstores but had just never checked it out and I really trust this woman's opinion so I am willing to give it a go. One of the other books that the, the owner recommended from this used bookstore was Sarah's Key and she was so passionate about this book and that I read it I didn't think twice about spending the dollar or two dollars on it. I really don't know what it's about I kind of want to go into this blind just because of how passionate the woman was about this story. She did mention that it had something to do with World War II. That is all I know and that's all I need to know. Actually I don't even need to know that I just want to go based on this woman's recommendation. So that is Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Razne. Last but not least, I've got Two Timbuktu, A Journey Down the Niger by Mark Jenkins. And this is an adventure story. And just as it says, it is about this man's journey down the Niger River. So that concludes my book haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you've read any of these stories, let me know. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about some of them that I'm going into blind. Um, but maybe not. If you've enjoyed any of them, you can just let me know if you think I should move it up on my TBR. So until next time, guys, keep reading. We'll talk to you again. Bye.